This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries, Aquarius. This right here is your oracle card reading. It's not a horoscope, it's an energy reading that I do with oracle cards. So it's for wherever Aquarius energy influences your life, even if it's, you're just dealing with an Aquarius. Um, there's no dates or on this video, on these videos anymore. But I upload a new Aquarius specific video every single week. So if you love them, please like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel because then you can ring that bell and get notifications as soon as I upload the fav your favorite content. Uh, there's always an extended reading. Why? Because these energies and themes can be kind of general and I intentionally keep them general <clears throat> so that they speak to everybody. But um, we can get into specifics and really personalize the reading more with tarot, hash out some detail, like uh, flesh out some details. And I go into a romantic specific reading over there as well. So please do join me for the extended after this video. Aquarius, let's get into your energy. Ooh, claim your independence. Act as if. Are you pretending like you're independent? Are you going solo? <laughs> What's been going on? Is this a sense of um, acting like you're saying when you're not? Uh, is this just a sense of needing freedom or needing to escape from something that was particularly stagnant or got to be routine? Not that you don't like it, not that you don't appreciate it, but that you needed a little relief from it. A sense of claiming your independence, not necessarily dumping somebody or even cheating on somebody, but... <laughs> Spending some time away from them. Yes, I know that right now we're in quarantine, but you know what? We can still take planes, trains, and automobiles if we really need them. And I feel like there was a sense of you really needing that kind of freedom or liberation or change in schedule right now. Ooh, we have your crowning energy here. Co-create with spirit. So this is divine timing. One plus seven equals eight. Um, destiny, fate coming and knocking following along, following it, uh, just going with it and believing in it, having faith in it, divine timing. Also using your voice or it's speaking to you, spirit speaking to you and hearing a call from spirit, whether you want to hear it or not. This could be a message that's welcome or not welcome. Either way, it is coming towards you. This is also air energy five, something changing, a faded change, a faded destiny in your structure, in what makes you feel good, in what you want in your life, or in the kind of structure that you want to create around your life, a fundamental change in how you interact with the world. Um, this is Capricornian energy. Saturn rules Capricorn. Saturn has just gone into Aquarius. Check out Saturn's video because you were all over. Hold on. Check out Capricorn's video because you, your energy, Aquarius, oh, sorry, stabilize, stabilize. Because uh, Aquarius energy was all over Capricorn's reading. Just so that you know, you can check it out here or, or over on the Vimeo uh, profile. But this is definitely restructuring. Um, making a change, making a change to what is important to you, what you put your attention into, as well as deciding to make a community or, uh, yeah, a community change. Make community changes. Speak out. Take the lead. Um, following spirit and following guidance of the divine. Deciding to speak out and do something, to take the lead, to restructure your community. You may start from your family to do something, to step in and intervene where you have been made aware that your help is needed or that you feel like you can make it, make a, make a change or make a difference. Um, there are two cards that have fallen out here. Um, Turkey spirit giving with gratitude and grace, the energy of seven creation, putting your whole self into creating this new environment or atmosphere. So it's something that you care about a great deal, something that you'd sacrifice your whole self for. You'd give up. You're really impassioned by this. This is an energy that is like um, almost bursting out of you and exploding and you're, you're not going to settle for anything but the perfect execution and realization of what this ideal is. So you have definitely identified a need for your intervention and you are stepping up and making it happen. It, and you're not even, you're not even sitting there wondering, is this crazy? Is this, how can I make it work? You're going to figure out how to make it work. The bottom line is your whole self is in now. 
and there's no turning back. Diving in deep completely, trusting in faith. This is the waters, this is emotions, following your intuition, following your psyche, diving in deep. You know, whale is this beautiful, magical, majestic creature that allows the tides and the currents and communicates um, underwater with, you know, like uh, with sound and sonar and vibrations, um, something so big mattering so much and meaning so much and being an indicator of the what, which way the world is going, like how healthy are the whales, how are they behaving, you know, this, this energy of being as big as they are, they're also um, really susceptible to a lot, you know, and it's like we, we can gauge sort of the health, they can be one of the... Um, gauges of the health of our atmosphere and environment by how healthy their populations are, etc. So this is knowing that you just have to go all in and taking the dive, like taking that deep breath and just going, going in, taking that dive and trusting that you're going to be caught, that you're going to float, that, that this is, you're going to find the way as it comes to you. It's not something that you have to plan. It's something that you are certain of, however, you trust, you're 100% in. This is also six plus five energy of awakening. Awakening to psychic energy, to psychic communications, to intuitive messages that are coming into you. Listening to them with your whole heart and whole self. Hold on. Questioning them. Um, <laughs> um, not even worried, not even thinking about questioning them. Your whole self is in. Now, why, why does it matter so much to you? Maybe it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter why it matters. There's a lot that is backwards here, but take the lead. When this card appears in reverse, for me, it is taking root. So this is you taking a stand and deciding to... It could be you've totally flipped around, changed around, and decided to get married. It could be you've decided where you're going to live. And remember what I said before? It's like you're claiming your independence. You want to get away from the status quo. You want to get away from the norm. You want to get away from your old norm. You want to put roots in a new country, a new world, a new place, a new career. You want to, you're, you're putting roots down for something new. It doesn't, it isn't necessarily something that you're going to have to stay in forever, but it's definitely something that you want to have future life you want there to be um you want there to be a future for it you you know you've made the decision you're certain there's certainty here enough for you to plant yourself where it needs to be interesting okay your central energy is surrender now but it's in reverse central to in other words you're not giving up you refuse to crash and burn. You can sense danger. I feel like there's a situation, Aquarius. You know that something's up. You know that something's wrong. You know that somebody needs your help. And you're flying right there. But you refuse. You just don't want them to get burned. You don't want them to crash and burn. You're almost like intervention. Here I am throwing yourself in the way so that they don't crash and burn. You're just rescuing them. You know it's almost like foresight. You knew that they needed structure. They, you, needed, they, you knew that they needed your support, a little bit of guidance. I don't know if this is on a community level or on a personal level, but you're definitely like throwing yourself in there and being like, no, you need a little stability right now. This could have to do with your family because this has to do with roots. So family tree, think family tree, like a, uh, something that even if you're independent and, you know, sway and change, this is something that you always come back to. These are your roots. Could be going back to save a certain location uh, that you grew up in, going back to save your, your family home, going back to save somebody in your family who is sort of putting themselves on the self-sacrificial chopping block and you see that they're in a lot of trouble and they need Need, they need some help. You don't want them to hurt or harm themselves or hurt or harm an opportunity um, that's good for them or a circumstance in their life. You 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 want to be of assistance. Um, time for a beginner mind. This is in reverse. This is letting yourself be wide open, letting your guard down, um, letting yourself be vulnerable, maybe even putting yourself into a vulnerable place, like uh, having to give up money or invest money. Maybe you don't have enough money to invest right now, but there is a sense of laying yourself bare and and not walking in with uh, it, laying yourself bare and letting yourself be vulnerable. But see, this is the thing. And this is Aquarian energy too. This is your energy. See, upright, he's kind of all kinds of hooked up in all his swords. 
he wants people to know that he's ready to defend himself, but that's because he's new and he doesn't, he doesn't understand the terrain. So he wants people to know that he's prepared to protect himself. Upside down, this is you're not new here. You know this territory. And you know that you're laying yourself vulnerable, but simultaneously your expertise will carry you farther than any kind of armor or self-defenses ever would. This is 100% you using your mind and experience to get you through and leaving yourself materialistically vulnerable. But who cares? You don't care. That's the thing. You may be like throwing 10 grand down to save your old family house or um, hiring a lawyer, you know, at your own expense to make sure that they don't cut down the old tree house that you, you know, that whatever it is, is something like that. It's like laying yourself a bit bare and allowing yourself to be put into a vulnerable circumstance for strategy sake. This is, this is 100% strategy. It's almost like sacrificing a pawn to be able to put somebody else into checkmate. So this may look like you're leaving yourself vulnerable, but there's thoughts and strategies behind it. Oh, I am, Aquarius. All right. <laughs> I see. See, this card wants to come out for you. 100%, this is the disguises are coming off. The reality or the truth of a situation is slowly but surely coming into view. And it may not want to be unveiled, but it is being unveiled. Um, um, act as if it, a four plus one is the energy, one plus four is the energy of five. So change, you're changing. You might have to make yourself a chameleon, might, might blend in. Like try to make yourself fit into one group so that you get the information that you need fit into another group so you get the information that you need uh, blend into different circumstances. But this is also changing. This is a sense of changing your location or changing um, your uh, changing your focus right now. A sense of being able to go from one in atmosphere into another atmosphere. You're changing atmospheres right now and you're blending and you're molding because you're needed and because there's a sense of kind of needing to blend in so that you collect some information or get a lay of the land so that you can strat you there's strategy here a hundred percent act as if fake it till you make it that's what you're doing it's almost like you're faking confidence you may be feigning a sense of vulnerability or a sense of I got this covered or a sense of I I know what I'm doing you may be faking it you may be like you may be acting like you know what you're doing and not really know what you're doing because but ultimately you're being led by spirit so you have faith in the unknown you you have faith in yourself and your ability to handle the unknown and your fascination or your commitment to this topic oh interesting okay Next card's out. You have a lot of confidence. This is a, a Leo energy. Your heart chakra is full, full of yourself, full of strength of character and belief and faith in who you are. And you are looking into the future. This, this lion energy does not look back. It's fire energy. It's forging the future. You, you, you know that you're right. Let's put it that way. You have a lot of confidence and nobody's going to be able to, I don't think anybody's even talking you out of it. I don't think the people around you are capable of talking you out of it or even fully completely understand what you're doing right now. Cause they may be distracted. They may be the ones that have been compromised and you're trying to help them. This is a sense of sticking by your pride, sticking by your family, taking care of your family, loving your family showing up to be the leader in your family or to help your family through circumstances or close friends or things that matter to you this is showing the way being the leader and basically uh spirit has your back um having confidence in in your way in your mindset having confidence in in what you've come up with and the future that you've envisioned and then your grounding energy is your energy Four plus three is seven. So you see clearly now the way is clear because your mind is open and expanded because it's because it's wide open and you're seeing things differently. See, owl sees in the dark, you know, and plus wise old owl wisdom sees better than knowledge. And this is it. You have the insights to understand. So this is something that you're experienced with, or you have a sense of authority in this area. You go into the dark, very confident that you can see in the dark and attack, like figure out where the, where the mice are and how to take them out or where the wasps are and how to eat them, how to chew them up. Owls are vicious. 
they're vicious, they're predators, and they're exceptional predators. I was just listening to the Joe Rogan show and they were talking about, he was talking about how owls rip the heads off of hawks and eat the heads from these hawks. And it's like, like a hawk is a strong bird and owls take them the fuck out. They're mean and aggressive. So this is an energy of knowing you don't have to come out in the open. You almost don't want to demonstrate your defenses. You don't, you're, you're blending in. You don't want people to know your full capabilities. You're trying to hide your hand. Aquarius, you are you are literally hiding your hand, keeping keeping them, um, keeping them in the dark so that you don't reveal your whole hand right now. But this is definitely something that is it matters to you, and you need to get it done. You're trying to catch yourself some flies. You're trying to hone in, let people not know that you're there. But grounding your energy is that bullseye target of you know exactly what you need and you know where the hurt is coming from. Having a strategy and see the way through a mess or a hurtful situation, a, a situation that causes pain, that causes struggle, that causes sadness, and that maybe even causes sickness. You see clearly now, it's because you've been through this before, because you've been stung, because you've been hurt before, because you've suffered, you now know you can be ruthless, relentless, and you know exactly what needs to be done. Okay. We got three more cards here. There is always enough. Three plus six, something's coming to the surface. Koi hang out really close to the surface, and they're really curious little fish. This is an energy of Piscean energy swimming around and getting your emotions stabilized and balanced. This is making damn sure that the people that you care about have what they need to have. Uh, trust in the magic. This is White Raven. So you have Raven and you have White Raven. This is a new start and a new beginning, a new life. Protecting a new life, protecting your future. Hold on. Protecting your future. Um, yeah. Um, could be protecting your child. There could be something like, like taking care of your child, healing your child, um, making sure that your child or children in general have what they need moving forward. Um, 66, this is an energy of to <clears throat> togetherness and love. So it could very well be that you're conceiving children, bringing children to the world, protecting a child, being very protective. Um, yeah, it's like in order to, in, in other words, you're trying to ensure your dynasty. You are protecting your roots. You're protecting where you came from in order to protect the dynasty or the future of a relationship or your family or a community. Um, and then you see the, because you see the big picture, this is also awakening nine plus two, the energy of once again, 11, you have 11, 11 here. You are completely aware, maybe before others are of what is important and what is happening. Like seeing somebody walk off a cliff, looking at them, almost maybe walking off a cliff, like saving somebody from themselves or saving the future. You can see where this is headed. And that's why you have to intervene now so that what you see either does come true because you want to ensure a future for somebody, or if you see disaster ahead, you can help them avoid it or heal it or put out the flames before it burns them. Hold them back or hold yourself back from crashing and burning. You're protecting some sort of assets that will, um, that will highly, heavily impact your family and your future. So hold on, let me share the cards with you. Big stories here, big, big stories and lots of grounding energy. And the grounding energy is your roots. The grounding energy is the stress or pain that you've been through or the stress or pain that you see. It's affecting you emotionally. And emotionally is your one area of instability. You don't like feeling this emotional, but simultaneously now it's fueling you. You're using it very wisely as a trigger, as, a, as an understanding or a warning for what is coming in the future or what could happen in the future if, if the, the hurt or this direction continues to happen. So what is grounding you is your, your need to protect the future, your need to protect your family, your children, your loved ones, or your inheritance of some sort, your dynasty of some sort. Um, because you've been through this before. This, this is something that you're reminded of. It could be like, uh, you know, you, 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 you can feel it happening. You can feel the threat 
to the future. You can feel it and you won't allow it. You refuse. You're, 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 you're intervening so that, so that they won't crash and burn. This is really interesting so that nobody can hurt or harm. And you may be throwing yourself in as a sacrificial lamb, but simultaneously, I don't necessarily think that that's a hundred percent what you're doing. It's also making you look better. It's also making you look really good. Not only will you protect what you love by sort of laying yourself in front of that tree that you refuse to have cut down, but you'll also be able to take a lot of accolades for being a hero and gain a lot of leadership through this opportunity. So this is a strategy that you're working on right now. Whatever it, whether it be in a relationship, a romance, or a career, this is strategy that you're working on. We're going to dive deeper into um, the strategy that you're working on and the outcome, as well as go into your romance reading, Aquarius, over in the extended. I will see you guys over there. The link is below.